wanted to share with you uh, a television news story that got aired on February 7th of uh, this year and how the media can take a story and twist it. There have been members of our community here in Washington, D.C. fighting against four, count them, four Walmarts coming to our city. There are many residents who are totally against Walmart. Sincere 7 is one of those groups. I am one of those residents. I live in Ward 4 and we oppose the Walmart coming under any condition. Now, we are working within a greater group, Living Wages Healthy Community sponsored a protest as well as a get the message out to the city council uh, members um, at the Wilson building, our city council building today. Now, as people rallied in front of the Wilson building for Walmart to not come to the community, for city resi residents to stand unified against allowing a Walmart to come into our community, the media took it and ran with a different bent. This is a story from ABC News uh, Channel 7, our local ABC affiliate and how they portrayed are saying no to Walmart into, well, the people seem to really want one. It's an amazing expose on contorting the truth. Against Walmart's move, D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live in Northwest Washington and explain what the protesters are actually fighting for. Sam? Well, Sine, I am at New Jersey and H Northwest on the edge of downtown D.C., where a new building is being constructed in this parking lot. And uh, where a lot of the, it's going to be one of four stores that the giant retailer is planning to build in D.C. And it sparked protests today over wages and benefits. At noon today, in front of City Hall, D.C. Walmart protesters were playing Aretha and demanding respect. And D.C. grocery workers from stores like Giant say Walmart should sign agreements. Saying that they'll pay living wages and they'll offer some sort of benefits to their employees. As the protests go on in parking lots at Walmarts, like this one in Hyattsville, Maryland, lots of D.C. tags and people who want the store in the city. It's more closer and it's more convenient. And we, I don't have to come all out to 450. I live on Capitol Hill. Walmart's plan calls for four stores scattered around D.C. in areas with little retail, often with much blight, and nobody else exactly fighting to get in. What we find is the majority of folks want us here, want to take advantage of the savings our stores provide, the quality jobs. While among the protesters, they question the quality of those jobs and the effect on neighborhoods. It's going to straighten the infrastructure. You have 2,000 more cars that are going to come to that area. 2,000. With this group, at least, it seems they've accepted that Walmart is coming to D.C. They just hope to influence the store some. We expect them to come. Let's be, we expect them to come. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be, that's realistic. We expect them to come. So you're not opposed to Walmart coming to D.C.? No, we're not opposed to, you know, absolutely across the board. And the D.C. Walmarts would not be as big as some. Between 80,000 and 120,000 new feet, the uh, 120,000 square feet, the spokesman said that the new stores they're hoping to have open within two years by the end of 2012. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right. Thank you, Sam.